Hey, Holy moly, thanks for letting me know. You know, I shut it off for a second. I had to say something in confidence. I'm really sorry, folks. My apologies. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I love interacting with the audience. They actually let me know that my sound was turned off. No, we are. Uh, we may need some of your... Uh, I'll give you my number. And I'm also willing to, I'm willing to train live streamers too. Okay. Right. Because it does take a little bit of, I mean, you can play your camera anywhere, but to do it right, it takes a little bit of training. And I'll actually explain and show you how the technology works on a, like all the way to the core of the, of the coding and stuff. Right. So you got an understanding of how it works. So when it doesn't work, you don't get all pissed off, right? Then you actually know how to fix it, right? So. I actually started live streaming uh, because of Occupy. Yeah. Right, because I knew the technology existed, but I didn't really like. I did at that time. You know, it's like the way it is with everything. You don't really see the forest for the trees, and uh, right. I didn't recognize the te the technology for what it was, but now uh, it's like I'm a full 100% proponent of it, and it's really good because, like I said, it gets people out to do things and motivated to do things. It's like a like another motivation to get people out into the streets, you know? Yeah, no, they see yeah. that people are actually making Yeah, to be quite honest, I wouldn't have came to this today if I wasn't live streaming because I'm just tired, right? Not because I wouldn't want to come, it's just because I get tired, you know? I do this, like, day after day. Tomorrow I'm going to be at the Federal Building at 9.30 in the morning uh, to cover the PayPal 14, uh, PayPal 14 which is a group of Anons, right, you know who Anonymous is, yeah. uh, a group of Anons. Did I broke into PayPal show? Uh, well, there was something, I'll have to do a little research on it tonight before I go out there. But I'll be out there tomorrow at the Federal Building in San Francisco at 450 Golden Gate. We locked it down, they couldn't. 450 Golden Gate. They, they, at the very, they locked it down to work, they couldn't do it. Down. Well, PayPal sucks. PayPal's a sucky fucking company. I think it was because they were turning over information to the Federal yeah, Peter Thies, you're a fucking piece of shit. I hope you're listening. Right, this isn't a family stream, by the way, folks. You know, you know besides little kids, they know what you know, they yeah, know the right? yeah, I know, I agree. Hey, I used to get smacked down if I ever, if I even said the word Jesus, okay? Yeah. That's how fuck. I used to get smacked when I didn't say yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. I would never. Taking stealing our languages, I mean, the whole, you know, language to us is foul. It's a legal language of people. I know what you mean. And they found, uh, they did scientific studies on cursing. And they found out that when you curse, you release endorphins in your brain. Which helps, which helps you deal with stress better. Right. Right? Yeah. And that's why people curse. So why make it like such a, you know, it's like they can show, what, what really gets me about things is they can show people getting their heads chopped off and body parts flying, right? But they can't show two people making love to each other. Right. That's right, ridiculous, right? Now that's automatically, we don't want our children to see that. You know, but you can see pictures of corpses and all this nasty shit. You know. Mm -hmm. Hey, how's it going there, compadre? Always good to see you, man. Right, I'm up and walking around now, believe it or not. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. And I'm healthy. Good. And I got my mock, I got my mojo back, dude. Like intellectually. Good. I'm kicking fucking ass now, right? Good. Like, I can almost like, like it's really weird. I don't like to say this too loud, but I can almost like, like. God kind of flows out of my fingertips, <laughs> where, you know, yeah, it doesn't take any thought. Like that. That's right. Well, yeah, being fucked up with leukemia and breaking your leg, yeah, that'll fuck you up. Well, it'll inhibit it, yeah. Yeah, big time, right? But I'm back on, back in the saddle, for reals. Great. We'll be right back. All right. Yeah, just a little shout out, folks that are watching. Uh, May 25th. 
in the city of uh, worldwide and the city of San Francisco, uh, especially here in the city of San Francisco. We're going to be at Union Square at 11 a.m. May 25th for the March Against Monsanto and uh, March Against GMOs and Roundup pesticides and DNA resequencing and because the technology, even though we have it, it doesn't mean we should use it because basically we don't know what the fuck we're doing and neither does Monsanto and they're a real evil corporation so we're going to be out there marching against Monsanto so you can bring your kids to this because it will be a child safe event we like to see the children out there oh yeah they're powerful of course we once did you ever hear about the clown army oh we, uh, we were doing uh, recruiters, and we had a clown army, which would go into the recruiting station and just start fucking shit up. The police had no idea what to do, because they couldn't beat down the clown. Well, like, how long did it take before to get over that? <laughs> uh, they basically, um, the recruiting became such a community base uh, I don't know why it died out, but uh, the Clown Army did what they did. Never well, you know, really got it's like a lot of things, right? Like in order to keep growing, like 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 turtles like shed their like shells, snakes shed their skins, right? When you're growing you shed skin all the time every day. Right? And you have to get rid of the old before you can get the new. Right? And then sometimes like movements will like seem like they're dying, like Occupy seemed like it died. But it didn't really die. I mean, you know, you can see just from like coming here that there's like all these people that were part of Occupy and now we've like we're evolving and now we're even stronger and we're more together than what we were before Occupy got started. You know? So you know, I was sad, you know, like I I remember the day that I kinda of felt like it was gonna end and I got all depressed behind it, right? And then I'm just like, you know, Clark, you've been doing this for 40 years, right? And it's just going to mutate into a different form, and it'll be much stronger and much healthier, right? And we won that battle. I mean, we didn't get the chance to put any banksters in jail, but um, I personally, it was a, it was a real growing a period of growth. Uh, for instance, I was uh, an alcoholic, you know, drinking quite a bit, like a lot, I should say. And... Uh, when I started doing Occupy, I said, you know, i got to put this alcohol down if I want to be a successful activist again. Yeah. So I did. I just said, fuck this. And, yeah, and I quit drinking. Good. Right? Awesome. You know. And, you know, from time to time, I kind of feel maybe I would like to have a beer or something. Yeah. But it passes. Right. You know, and I, you know, I'm up to, like, if somebody would, like, wants to have, like, a toast. Well, that's different, right? But when it comes to anything beyond that, you know, because I don't have interest in it anymore. Yeah. Whereas this is a little different. This is a lot different. For me personally, this is one of my sacraments. Right? I treat yeah. this, you know, yeah. with, with all the respect that it could deserve, you know. And I know you by reputation, so you have a good reputation. <laughs> right? It's always good to keep your reputation. Oh, yeah. yeah. The integrity is everything. Right? Don't let the trolls get you down. Matter of fact, just confront them a little bit. Let them know that, you know. But, uh... Yeah, you know, I was one of the only elders in the movement. And so I had to out some of the people and come down on some of this. Later on, it's surprising how quickly the youngins have learned. Yeah. How much they've learned. Yeah. Well, look at this. This is a part of that. You know, like Ryan. He's 26. He's young. I was just, I was making my bones with the movement at 26. Because we did the, uh, I was working with Campaign Against the Yeah, I was Back, the same yeah, When we built the shanty town in the middle of the university, right? I was there the night when they rolled in. Oh yeah, that was a big fight that night. Well then I might have, I might have knew you then. Actually, I think I met you back then those days. Like, for real. Yeah. Right? You know, I, I looked a little different, of course, but well, I still had long hair. But yeah, I remember we were battling the police. It was a battle. Like, and we did make an agreement. I think at the meeting the night before, that uh, we were only going to escalate. Uh, and uh, we were going to escalate the fight. See, these little parks here, like these provide sanctuary 
for all the animals and, and insects and, and yeah. birds, right? Like I was noticing, um, if you're in San Francisco, they have a beautiful park in China Basin. And um, it's all volunteer. And all the stuff that's planted there is native to California. And they have like this little biosphere that they've created there. And if you just sit there on a beautiful day like today, you'll see all kinds of wildlife. All kinds. All kinds of wildlife, right? And it's never too late. And you can do it as simply at home, as simply as like setting up a, like a little garden, you know, like one of those little miniature, like in a little spot, like 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 about like I don't know if you people can see it on the video, but you see yeah. that little plot, yeah, right there where where the lady in the white t-shirt is. Yeah, that's a little. Uh, that's like uh, twelve square, uh, uh, yeah, about four square uh, yards, and that's enough to set up a little garden. You could actually grow tomatoes and strawberries and and squash maybe in there. And if you had a little elevated garden, uh, you could actually grow all kinds of stuff. Right? And one of the things I why I didn't go up to the music for people that are watching is because of uh, I do have copyright issues I have to be aware of, and also because. I was under the understanding that uh, Ryan is going to be giving a lecture on permaculture, and uh, which would be real interesting. Maybe you folks out there would like to check that out. So uh, we'll get it together here in a minute, folks. You know, this is an anarchist uh, kind of an event, and we're not so time-driven and like so anal about things. You know that we have to be on time about everything. Of course, you know when you're watching that. When I say one o'clock, that usually means about twenty minutes after one. It is. Yeah. 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 yeah, you got to kind of kick back, and you know, there's no real reason to rush to do anything. And when you start rushing, you start forgetting things, and you get more stress. And, you know. all right. you got all kinds of happy people out here today. Love Dave. He's never had a shortage for words. Diamond Dave. He's been around for a long time. When you get when you get to be an elder like him, I guess Steve, he was president of City City College of San Francisco for six years, right? Of a student body, right? He was the, in, his, in his late 60s and early 70s. The guy's fucking amazing. I always like to, I always like to do it with an ear shot. I don't want to embarrass him. Yeah, it's good to be back out, out here in the streets after being behind a computer screen for less. I spent all week behind a computer screen, uh, which I love to do, but uh, I can only code so much before I need to get outside in the nice, beautiful air and the sun and to meet people because, you know, folks, uh, social networking isn't limited to your laptop uh, and Facebook and Twitter, you know, of course you know that, right? Um, social networking is also going to these events and talking to people and running into people like Zachary Running Wolf. And, uh, you know, because we used to know each other back in the good old, bad old, the good old, bad old days. You know, we've been organizing for a long time. And uh, part of being an organizer is getting out there in the community. And the Bay Area is a very great, is a really great place. One of the reasons why we have such a strong anarchist community here is because you, uh, we have like places in the city where people are going to frequent. And, uh, and when you get out in the city here, it's a very small city. So, and there's tons and tons of people here. So you run into people all the time. And that's like social networking out on the internet. So that's one of the, one of the, most wonderful things I love about San Francisco is you run into the same people, so you get to be friends with them. Yeah, it'll take a little while with the pizza. Is that beer? Dollar. Yeah, if you wanted some water, uh, I got some water back in there. Yeah. Uh, hold on to that. All these beautiful brothers and sisters are down here today. 
Drinking free water is on the way to I wish I had time to play video games. <laughs> No, what were you saying? No, too many of these young kids. Yes. Stuck on video. Oh, yeah, they stay in the house all day long. What were you saying about the Beatles? Uh, the mask yeah. on your. Uh, yeah. First of all, it's red, white, blue. We've switched. 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 we have switched 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 we have
and this like magnifies your power like when you're doing this like for every person that's here there's like maybe depending on the event and how like much I can get coverage out like for every person here there's 10 people watching it's a general rule of thumb you know so you know I have a, a, a responsibility to the people that are on the other side of this lens right, that are watching you know and uh, so a lot of people don't get that right like they don't get that that as like just because you're a person and you feel like your privacy is being invaded that's not really what's happening what's really happening is just that you're an example of like freedom for other people you know and when they see that they become inspired it happens all the time right and, uh, and that's what inspired me to keep going down to occupy was the fact that my live stream is actually like I managed to keep people from getting their asses kicked by the police, you know, and by just being down there, you know, and then the police actually they knew me by name, right? They actually went through kind of trouble of, of investigating me, and when they the last day when they arrested everybody, they said Mr. Sullivan live streamer, right? You know your way home, right? And I was the only person left, right? And I even turned the camera off. And like put my like wrist up there and I'm like got I'm taking it away, here you go. Right? Only time in my life I've ever surrendered to the police. Right? And they didn't want to arrest me, right? Cool brother, see So go ahead, go figure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Naturally I was really glad not to get arrested. Great to run into you. Not that it would mean make a difference. I have been arrested seventeen times here in San Francisco. No convictions. Uh, yeah, I had to go there uh, on a furnishing marijuana charge, and uh, eventually I went back to court so many times that the DA just dropped the case because they knew I was I was going to take it out to full trial, right? And it didn't matter if I was convicted or not. It is, you know, marijuana is one of the few things that I will go to jail for, and I won't. My conscience won't bother me over it. Fortunately, here in San Francisco, that we been able to fight back the forces of darkness and up to at least where we can have medical access to our pot, which is nature's most beneficial plant. How do you make a plant to use Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. And you know, it had the opposite effect. Is when, they made, once, when they made it illegal, that, that actually increased the genetic diversity of marijuana actually made it a stronger plant of higher potency and more people are smoking it now than what they were before they made it illegal. Aren't they more into like, uh, therapeutical blends? Yeah, it's very therapeutic. And also, um, eating marijuana, and you don't have to cook it up to get high off of it, but just eating it like in a regular part of your diet, like marijuana leaves taste really good. And salad and stuff, right? And they're really sweet. Okay? And it's good for you. Buggy. Yeah. How are you doing today? Yeah. Alright folks, I'm almost done smoking my marijuana here. Just one more hit. And what is your life stream again? Uh, Freeman Sullivan. Yeah, just Google me. Yeah, I've got like about 250 uh, live streams. So I've, been doing I've been doing about a year and a half, almost two years. And it's all live stream. I don't do any studio. I like to be out in the community. And I used to live here. I used to live right on that. See where that tree is sitting? I used to live like almost directly on that spot. I lived there for like two years. Uh, the building was condemned. Uh, because of the arc, uh, it was not actually, it was built during World War II, yeah. and they just threw it up because it was the war, and they needed a place for a factory, and so this was like a small factory at one time, and then uh, it was converted into loft space for uh, people, not so much, you know, for like musicians, right? And when I was living here, it was a bunch of musicians that used to practice here all the time. And it was really fun, we used to have really good times here. Alex, can I try to ride Patrick's bike? Can I try to ride Patrick's bike? Right around. What? Right around. Come back. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Good. I'll be here for a while, so. All right. But that's uh.
full circles. I mean, you'll find that like people are doing large circles. Yeah, I know. I, I keep up with this completely. Yeah. Um, I actually design man man mandalas all the time, right? It's one of my things I do for art. That's one of my favorite things to do is have art when I make art. It's, you know, like, and when it, the nice thing about it, I like to do is they look like they're moving, but they're really not. Yeah. Right? And that's the whole point of doing my man dollars, right? And uh, I could actually show you in, like, Illustrator, like, how to, like, create them for yourself and use them as a form of meditation. Right? Yeah. And they really clear your mind up. Well, you know, you know yeah. that's what what? I said, I'm not telling you anything. You already know. Yeah. It's mainly for the people out there in the audience. Yeah. Sometimes I'll catch myself and I'll go, oh, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> right. I know, sometimes it seems like I'm talking. Can't even get inside. And yeah, and it looks like I'm like talking to myself, right? Yeah. You know, but I'm talking to the audience. Which, um, the, um, the, um, when I'm with the elders, it's like true elders, it's really a different. No arguments, we're hitting stuff, we're bouncing off each other. Right. Yeah. Whereas these youngsters that are, oh. you know. Yeah. But that's okay, it's experience. It takes experience. Hi, Baba. Hi, Q Q. Yes, I remember you. Yeah, that's pretty doggy, yeah. too. Yeah, we're out here having fun. A little party down here in 19th of Florida. I don't even drink. <laughs> Somebody handed me a beer. I'm, I'm going to enjoy it, but. Hey, uh, Ryan. Yeah. Did you do your permaculture workshop yet? Um, it's kind of like a space open with the library and whatnot. Okay, well, when you're ready to go, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll live stream that, that for you. Yeah. That's important. People need to see that. Yeah, somebody handed me a beer. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Have a toast. A toast to you people out in the audience. Long life and living in good health. Nope, this way. We can't go in there with that little dog that keeps barking again. Oh, she's a cutie. You're a pretty dog. Yeah, a little slice of life out here in San Francisco. We're very... You know, as the expression goes, I guess laid back. But it is very relaxed here in San Francisco. That's one thing I like about being here. And here you go. You might want to take that off my hand. Yeah, I was going to suggest to you that you might want to try live streaming too. It's superior to any other form of photography and videography by a long shot. Because you get to interact with people. I'm speaking of interacting. See what everybody out there's got to say. Sustainable water helps immensely. Yes, Harmony. Yep. And that was me and Eco. Uh, video games stimulate brain activity. I'm not hating a player. And dude, you know what kind of game I play. I'm coding. I'm in the. I'm in the real game. I'm not playing it for funsies. I'm doing it for realsies. And uh, let's see who else. Okay, permaculture lecture. Yep. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, uh, hopefully he'll get a space to do lecture. We're gonna work on that. And Ryan, you have my contact information. Uh, when you want to do a permaculture thing and you want to get it like like video, you yeah, know, like anytime. live stream and video, yeah, yeah. yeah we can make that happen. Uh, Freeman Sullivan. Yeah. Freeman Sullivan. Yeah, F R E M A N Sullivan. Yeah, what? Uh, you can just Google it. So okay. you can Here's my number. Uh, hold on, I gotta shut down the mute. I gotta mute the volume here. Just for a second, folks. Yeah, I'm back again. Whoops. I think I unmuted. Yes, your broadcast has been unmuted. It's really hard for me to see the monitor because uh, we're in like direct bright sunlight. Beautiful day though, folks. I'm sending out lots of love and lots of warm vibrations to all you people out there. Peace, right, and goodwill towards you. And I love you all very much. Just to let you know, I'm gonna in case you didn't know, I'm repeating it. Because it's always good to say it over and over again to people that you love them. It's not a it's not an act of weakness, it's an act of strength. It's an expression of strength. Yeah, that's what's cool. Hey, blah, blah, blah. My band sucks. But anyway, I... Oh, everybody else, everybody in my band is 
Woohoo, two drinks of beer and I'm starting to get a buzz. That's what's great about not drinking. Yeah, my only concern about around here is there is there a restroom nearby that we can use? There's a little. Not really. Not the, I mean, I hate to. It's one thing about living in San Francisco here, folks. There's a severe lack. Yeah, that's like three barrels. There's a severe lack of facilities. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to do. All right, well, my time uh, here on the live stream is limited by the size of my bladder. Okay. Out there in the audience, I don't want to put it in the any more uh, cleaner terms, but that's the uh, that's the time limit. Yeah, it's one of the horrible things about living in San Francisco. This is a drawback. What I hate is that there's all these restaurants, but you can't use them. Ah, the bike kitchen. Oh, look who it is. Hello. Oh, snap. We like the bike kitchen. The bike kitchen is... Uh, a place for people that would like to go and work on their bicycles, they sign up for... Yeah, yeah. right across the street. Oh, great, great. 650 Florida. Right. Hey, little puppy. Do you want me to... Uh, let me just try to get some stuff from the trees for the cherry. Okay, well, I can, I can bring you in there. Um, wherever you want. It's just a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, we have a lot of bicycles here in San Francisco. It doesn't rain a lot, so... Makes it easy to ride a bike around here. You know, there are a lot of hills, but you know, you get used to them after a while. Trust me. And it really builds your body up. You know, I was like, uh, when I was cycling every day, uh, I was 150 pounds, six foot, and uh, I could like, I was like 20. I could, I was like. People that were 20 and 30 years younger than I am, I would regularly be able to outride them. Oh, okay, that's that's really okay. That's right. Okay. Nice. Really super healthy for you. Yeah, I saw both of you there, and I was like, oh, that's a little, oh, weird. little master. Though. <laughs> and I had to tell myself to stop doing that. Oh, we really got you, dude. Awesome. I know everyone. All right, folks. I guess I I guess I know what's going on. I think I'm going to shut down the live stream today because. Oh, cool. Like I need to have a little fun, oh. and when I have this camera, my phone in my hand, I and, uh, some love to be having fun, so I want to have a little fun, but nice little speaker. I really appreciate everybody watching, very much so, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning at the uh, 450 Federal, or 450, 450 Golden Gate, and uh, for the uh, PayPal 14. Uh, the stream, uh, I'm going to do a different kind of a stream tomorrow, uh, since people don't, uh, these are anonymous people, and they really don't want to be on camera, uh, so uh, we're going to be doing uh, more of a, uh, the camera will be pointing at me, so you get to look at my ugly face for about a good hour, just kidding, um, definitely uh, we'll be out there tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, uh, you can go on uh, activiststream.com or U-S-T-R-E, dot am slash capital n little h little u capital v and we'll be out at 9 a.m in the morning tomorrow and that's federal building so i'll talk to you tomorrow and much love and much peace to all you wonderful people and stay tuned